Hey guys, what's up? I'm here to give you guys a recap on the new chapter of Nanatsu no Taizai, or you can call it the Seven Deadly Sins, on chapter 326. This chapter right here is about to <coughs> possibly finish things off, but apparently I got a very bad feeling about next chapter because... I'll get to that maybe later, but all I know is I got a very bad feeling in next chapter. So if anything else, let's just get this started. We have to it that Deanne uses her po her power move, or should I say her powerful move, Mother Creation, where <coughs> the land that's surrounding the lake ends up breaking apart into billions or millions of pieces, and Deanne uses these pieces to hurl at the Demon King. And we see to it that <coughs> that the Demon King is is surprised to see how she is able to defy the Demon King, and Deanne's like, yeah, I'm gonna defy you. I used to be a giant girl who hated fighting, but I've turned over to a new leaf. And the Demon King realizes that he's being pulled out of the lake, and that's bad news for him, because he won't be able to regenerate his magic power anymore. And we see to it that Deanne explains that all of her friends, such as Hawk, the Seven Deadly Sins, King, they are all important to me, and they've always been there for me, and they never fail to do so. And we see too the Demon King says, Spare me your nonsense. There's no way you can't defeat me. And Millie Otis gives a warning to the Demon King by saying, Well then, you must be blind. Because when she's angry, I wouldn't want to get on her bad side. And Elizabeth backs this up by saying like, Yeah, she always concerns herself over others before herself. And that is a special trait to have. And we see to it that Deanne has a... Has a goal to accomplish due to the fact that Droll entrusted her to become the queen of the giants and there's a future that she has to make. We see to it that Bond asks King, yo King, aren't you gonna say anything? And King's like, hey Deanne, after we defeat the Demon King, can you please marry me? And Deanne's like, yeah for sure! And then she ends up launching the Demon King out of the lake and he ends up having to be on a different kind of land and realizes that the lake is gone. He goes like, what is this place? And Meli Otis explains, this is your final resting place. The Seven Deadly Sins is about to launch a final mission, and that's to defeat you. That's to, that's to defeat you. And we see to it that the Demon King gets ready to fight once again. And we see to it that Meli Otis explains to the Demon King, now that you your magic supply is cut off from the lake, you can't replenish your magic anymore. So you're at a disadvantage. And Escanor also tells Demon, the Demon King one more piece of bad news. It's high noon and Escanor is about to enter his one form once again. But let's get to some bad news or what I have a bad feeling about. Because I told you guys at the beginning of this video that it's going to be... I have a bad feeling about next chapter because if you guys don't remember... I mean Escanor was given sunshine once more from Mal, but warns Escanor, if you ever push yourself any further with sunshine in your body, you are going to possibly die, or die in general. And for Escanor to push himself be to this point, to use the one form once again, I got a feeling that if he dies, man, I'm really gonna flip a lot of sh Because, a lot of people love Escanor. Heck, I like him, man. He's like a freaking, like, God of one-liners, if anything. <laughs> Best one-liners, if not all. But anyways, I look forward to see how next chapter goes. But I got a very bad feeling it's going to hurt a lot of people, especially my, especially me. So until then, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm off of Zero, people. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys next time, alright? Peace out. Bye-bye.